Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Athens, Georgia. What am I doing here? Boy, I'm so far behind on my YouTube, it's not even funny. I got my new van. I sold my BT Cruiser in uh, Colorado right before my flight. I jumped on my flight, flew to Atlanta, took a shuttle to Winder, Georgia, picked this up at Aikens Ford Chrysler Dodge, one of the biggest dealers here in the southeast. And uh, boy, I've had a lot going on. I've been so busy and in such a hurry that I've made two videos, but I talked too fast, I cut the clips too short, and I just, just wasn't happy with them. So I've been posting on Patreon, I've been posting on Facebook, keeping everybody updated, but uh, I hope to have this video out soon. Let me tell you what I'm doing today. Today I'm at Lowe's, and uh, I gotta build a bed. I went with a Ram ProMaster 2500, on the 136 inch wheelbase. It's brand new, it had 250 miles when I bought it. They had to drive it out of a North Carolina lot, the reason it had any miles on it at all. Got the rear windows on it. Of course in white, because we want something good on the heat. Reflect the sun, reflect the heat. And I've been driving it now for four or five days. Now it's a mess back here. I put 20 years of my life into a, a milk crate. The rest are records and stuff that I got to keep. But I bought this Zeopedic memory foam queen size mattress yesterday at Big Lots. It cost me $400. This this is a mess. I'm, I. I come to Georgia to sell RV base camp, which I did, but I flew in and I've just been running like a madman trying to get it ready to sell. So to combat my uh, electric problem, I got a Shoemaker, a portable power station, 1200 uh, peak amps. I can run a CPAP off of this thing without a heater for two nights. It's already fully charged. but. Uh, and yeah, might as well show my mess. This is my Chinese checkers game. I kept very, very few things, but uh, me and my grandpa used to play on this. I remember when he would play, he taught me how to play, he would hit the marbles and mess up the whole board. I have to reset it. It's one of my most prized possessions in my life. Didn't think I was gonna be able to carry it in a mobile vehicle because of it rattling, but I've been able to set it up on its edge and it doesn't make any noise back to the bed and one of the reasons I bought the ProMaster is because I believe that I can sleep east west on it but having this on the floor is just not working so today I want to go in and it just may be temporary but it's going to have to work I'm going to put some two before studs on these cross members right here and build me a platform then I got to trim down this mattress but uh, I gotta get this done. Uh, and I gotta get it done before I hit the road. Just being on the floor is too hard to get up and down. It's taking up way too much room. So if I can get the bed up, I can put my stuff underneath, increase my living space. I got 25 hours to get back to um, Colorado. I mean, I can get there at any time, but it's a 25 hour drive, 1500 miles. So I'm gonna get the fantastic fan in, get the bed in, and I'm hitting the road. But uh, I got to get busy. I don't have any tools. I stopped and got a Black & Decker lithium uh, drill at Walmart. Got some cheap bits. I got to work with what I got. So I'm going to get my measurements and get Lowe's to cut my lumber. Put my bed in. Okay, well I got the 2x4s cut, two of them at 54 inches. And I bought hangers. Put the slats underneath the bed. These fasten to the wall. Come to O'Reilly's. 
Auto Parts in front of the Athens Clark County Police Department to get this this Torx bit. I don't have any tools, just pliers and screwdrivers, but I got to get that loose. Take them off on both sides so they won't be in the way of the lumber. The guy busted open a pack right off the shelf. Not charging me anything. I said, I don't know why you're helping me, but I sure do appreciate it. All right, that's one down. Now I gotta go get that one off. Well, my bed building got interrupted. I have to head back to Lexington to cancel my house insurance. I have to sign. And uh, looks like I get about six months for a refund on it. But well, just a real nice guy to help me out and loan me that tool. He broke it up. He broke up a new pack off the shelf just so I could take two bolts loose. I tried not to scratch the black paint off of it, but I did. 40 bucks. The guy says, don't worry about it. Can you believe that? He said, don't worry about it. So, uh, I'm going to try to get this bed built before my fan comes in at uh, Town & Country Campers in Winterville. I don't have any tools, so I'm going to let my buddy put it in. He's put in a bunch for me. He's better at it than I am. He's got everything right there. He's done a bunch of them. Also, everybody's, you know, I know I'm going to get this. Well, I thought I was just going to get a truck camper. What was wrong with the BT Cruiser? This is very similar. No, nope. this is a lot more narrow. And I've got more ground clearance. I don't have those underbelly boxes down there to drag on. It's not four wheel drive, but it's front wheel drive. You know, if, Econoli, if Ford made something like this that would hold together, I would have bought it. But the Ford Transit, I got a buddy of mine that's a Ford mechanic, and he says they can't keep drive axles on them. He said they're safe. He said he's seen them take a heck of a lick. But he said they can't, their Ford's having problems. So, you know, I'm going to give this a whirl. CBK, I can't believe you sold RV Base Camp after all the work you did to it. You're not kidding. I've owned that property for almost 20 years. It wasn't the nicest place in the world. It wasn't the nicest neighborhood, but it's a nice place. Um, it's very difficult for me to sell it. Very emotional for me. I, did, I had a lot of hard work in there. But uh, I enjoy the West Coast so much more than the East Coast. And I got family and friends here. If I want to stay over on the East Coast, I got I got two or three dozen driveways I can park in. So I just didn't see the need of keeping it. Felix, uh, he made friends with a neighbor down the road, and he's staying at their house. So Felix is taken care of. Um, but that's what I've been doing. That's why I've been quiet about it. I don't ever tell him. Try not to tell him my business till it's done. So it's done, and uh, it's one less thing for me to worry about while I'm out here on the road. Okay, the next thing I gotta do, boy, I like these grab handles too. Take these grab handles off so I can put my stud on. Gotta do it on both sides. So I just bought an adjustable wrench. These are really nice grab handles. Powder coated. I'm making use of them somewhere else on the build. I'm going to hang on to those for sure. Now my 2x4s will set up here. Well, that's the wrong piece of it, but it goes something like that.
dead battery. <laughs> Okay, that's one side on. Now to do this side. Okay, both sides are now attached. Honestly, I'm just making this up as I go. I hadn't done this like this. And this may not be final, of course. I'm gonna take it all down to insulate the walls, but I gotta have a bed to travel. Okay, well it's slowly coming together. Got three supports in here. I'm gonna have a lot of room for storage underneath. This is gonna make the bed platform. Was out here working and a fellow drove up that's a subscriber to the channel. His name is Dwight, he's from Athens. And uh he said, if you, need, if you need a hand, I got a truck full of tools and a little bit of know-how. I said, well, that's a lot more than I got. So he's been helping me, but he, he don't want to be on camera. Uh, I'd be the ugliest one, so. I, we both have a face for radio. I'm just, I'm just brave enough to show mine. All right, but uh, it's coming along, and I got some help. I got friends wherever I go. All right, the platform is in. Now I'm going to pull this mattress out and trim off the excess what I need. Yep. Make a couple measurements. Turns out the best way to cut this stuff is with a handsaw. Tearing it up. We got rain coming, so I gotta hurry and do this. Well, there she is. Ended up trimming off about four inches. The handsaw did the job. No, uh, I'm good. <laughs> now I got a bed and all kind of storage. I may raise it or lower it later. This is what I'm running with right now. Okay. Okay, well I'm back here at Town & Country Campers in Winterville. My buddy David, the, uh, the fan didn't get here till 4.20. They close at 5.00. He said, Kevin, I'll stay and put it in for you. What a guy. He's taking such good care of me. All my RVs, my work trailers, vehicles. I just can't say good enough things about him. But seeing how I don't have any tools, I don't have anywhere to shop, to, I don't have a shop to work out of. You can see if it's been raining. Let him put this fan in. Got the bed in today. It works out great. It's comfortable. I can stretch out even with my shoes on. Uh, so once this fantastic fan's in, I'm headed to Colorado. We'll veer off to see my old, my friend, um, Bill. He's my 80, 88, 89 year old friend. He's up in Cornelia. He's waiting on me. And I don't plan on coming back out uh, back out east for a long time, so I want to see him before I go. So all in all, it's been a pretty good day. Getting it done. It turns out that the battery is under my feet on the floorboard. Why would they go do something like that? David's trimming up a little bit of the edges. I ain't seen nothing this guy can't do. Putting putty tape around the bottom so it'll seal a little bit better.
Everybody says I ought to do this myself. But when you got a pro like this, how could you not let him do it? Now he, he got some little wood strips here and he wrapped them in putty to fill in these insets. How smart is that? That makes it level all the way across. I don't know what David has done. He's left me two wires to hook up uh, some LED lights. He doesn't have any here, but uh, so I'll buy some and put them in myself. So the, it's already wired now for two LED lights on top of the two cargo lights that come with the van. Only problem with those is that after about 15 minutes, they don't work anymore. I have to reset them with the ignition. But with these, they'll last a long time. Well, they'll last as long as the battery does. All right, putting some lap sealant down. And then we're gonna put on a Max Air cover. That way I can leave it open when it's raining and always have ventilation in the van. All right, my buddy David here. Got the fantastic fan installed. Got the Max Air vent cover on it. Wired me up a couple of lights. Did the bed earlier with uh, my new friend Dwight. So this van's ready to travel. I'm gonna get out of here. So I'm gonna end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.